spent on city buses and not enough riders. That's the concern of a city council member in Winston-Salem. He says the city and taxpayers are paying way too much to operate city buses when fewer people ride them every year. Fox Age Jordan Brown gives us a look at the trends in Winston-Salem and Greensboro and shares suggestions from elected officials. Jordan, why aren't people riding the bus? Well, Katie, I talked to several people here in downtown Winston-Salem, and they had a number of reasons for why they don't ride city buses. Some said the routes are too confusing, the schedules are inconsistent, and some even told me they don't feel completely safe on the bus. Now, one thing we know for sure is the pandemic caused a severe drop in ridership in both Winston-Salem and Greensboro. But now that we're entering a post-pandemic world, the numbers are not going up, and it's costing a lot of money. It's not as convenient for people around here, you know. You're, you're better off with just a car, so you could just leave like that. This has been the trend in Winston-Salem. Fewer people are riding city buses. I could see it if it comes more frequent and it's more, it's like more used here. I could see a lot of kids use it just to get around from the local areas, you know. But most kids nowadays just rock, you know, cars. It's a worry for Winston-Salem City Council Member Robert Clark. He thinks the taxpayers may be paying more than what's needed. I have been a critic of the bus system. I think there's something fundamentally flawed about it and I will leave it at that. I wanted to mention at, at the meeting to, to emphasize to the city management that I think we need to be looking at it over the next 12 months so in the next year's budget we can hopefully do some improvements. The numbers don't lie. Since 2012, 60% fewer people are riding Winston-Salem City buses, but the costs to operate them have gone up 40% more in that same time frame. You combine those and on a per rider basis, it's up 340%. That concerns me. I think we need to look at optimizing the routes. The routes that have a lot of riders should have more buses on them, and the routes that have virtually no riders need to be eliminated and consolidated with other routes. There's a similar trend in Greensboro. Ridership has slowly declined over the past eight years. In 2021, the Greensboro Transit Authority gave 1.9 million passenger trips. That was a dip from the 2020 numbers when they logged 2.7 million trips. Of course, the numbers were much higher before the pandemic when the GTA was averaging 3 to 3.8 million trips per year. But still, it's been years since they've come close to the highest numbers, which were in 2014, with 4.6 million trips that year. While Clark has concerns about the cost of running buses in his city, he isn't suggesting the city of Winston-Salem do away with the buses. He recognizes there are still people who rely on the bus system every day. It's very important because I don't have my car here, so it's very important for me and my son to get back and forth to our doctor's appointments. The buses are very important, and the people that ride them do need them. But it's not good for the city budget or for the environment to drive buses around town that are empty. A representative with the Greensboro Transit Authority said like here in Winston-Salem, their operating costs have gone up as well, but they do get some relief with their growing fleet of electric buses. They've been able to reduce their costs of diesel fuel. We're live in Winston-Salem, Jordan Brown, Fox 8 News. Jordan, thank